Hello, welcome to another Joe Vadic set of interviews and this is a very special night for me. This is my first homecoming set of interviews. I'm in Cardiff, my hometown, on the world famous Womanby Street. I'm here tonight to see the UK Underground's event at the Moon, just down the road. I'm about to interview JTR. That's J. Reese, D. Franz, Callisto and Lucas Santamaria. Callisto's not here tonight, unfortunately, but the rest of them are. I'm here on Warrenby Street and I'm joined by D. Franz, J. Reese, Lucas Santamaria. And I'm here to talk to JTR, ask him a few questions. We're just down at the moon, yeah. down the road, UK Underground rap event. And uh, I've got a couple of questions. I want to start off by clearing the air. I need a bit of clarity. Is JTR a collective, a brand, or a boy band? Boy band, boy band. Uh, boy band, we're a boy band, I know. In all seriousness, JTR is a family. We're a creed. We do shit together. We so take our losses like, together. We take our wins together, you feel me? It's a boy, uh, it's a boy band. It's a, it's a boy band when I speak to the non-music people. When I speak to the music people, it's a collective, isn't it? So. That's a good approach. Be a bit of everything, innit? Appeal to the masses, right? Appeal to the masses. Well, JTR, there's three members. You've got D-Fans over here. We've got yes, Jay Reese. Yes, we've got yes, Luca Santa Maria. Um, coming from North London, how do you guys stand out in an area where there's so such a high caliber of talent? How do you stand out? I think the music speaks for itself. The music does speak for itself, but at the end of the day, you know, we come from an area where we're fortunate enough to have the facilities to, you know, express ourselves through our music, you know, and we have people around us that support us, you know, and yeah, can't complain. I would also add, we're the only group in North London, um, probably the only group doing it like the way the way we are. So yeah, man, yeah, man. we're a group. First group in North London that's doing it, like, yeah, not, not too old. I know some old guys in North, but I think we're, we're, we're some new. old guys. Some old, 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 old. Oh, we're, old young, guys. we're young men here. Oh, we're yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. As well, though, no, we're, we're youngest and independent. No management. We're independent for real. Yeah, 100%. I think that's powerful stuff. Yeah. Uh, you make most of your music at uh, Studio 2001. <laughs> Uh, Stu 2001! <laughs> yes, yes. There's a bit of mystery around it, a bit of mystery. I, you know, you're only allowed to follow it if you've been there, all this shit. It's like, yeah, yeah, I want to yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah you know what? You, I, I want to know. Research, What's it, talk me through a typical session at Studio 2001. Oh, it depends. Right. Depends, right, depends right, who's cool. coming. Right. Depends you who's know coming. Yeah, right. coming. I'll talk about when we're doing a JTR session, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. So, Els, <laughs> Luca, yeah? Luca will tell everyone different times, yeah? He'll tell me and Reese different times to make sure we get here at the same time. <laughs> Don't let it go over your head. <laughs> yeah. head is, it your, is, it, is it your studio, Luca? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's in my house. Um, 2001 started back is in 2017. Um, and then I met these guys 2020, 2021. Why are you lying for me? We've been through No, 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 but music wise, music, music wise, wise no, for the studio. Music wise, it was me and you 2019. 2020. 2019. No, 2019. Oh, yeah, we did actually drop. We did actually drop 2019. You know what I'm um, and then. Yeah, CC001, man, it's just, <laughs> just my yard. Yeah, man. Get to know, but don't get to know, right? Trust for me. real. Trust me. If you know, you know. Do you get what I mean? If, like, you, if you've been there, you can follow the account. But actually, I made a new account. It's a new era, new era account. And you don't have to come to the studio to follow it. But it's, it's more like if you're... Less exclusive, yeah. do you know what I mean? But like, more exclusive. Less yeah. exclusive and more well, exclusive. Let's play a little game now, a fun little game, okay? Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a couple questions. I wanna know who's the most likely to do it, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, who is the most likely to miss the last bus? Jake. 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 <laughs> Jake. Jake. I'm too high and shit. Like. F finish writing their verse first. Jake. 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 Paul tonight. Paul. Paul. Yeah. Go home with someone. Oh no. Nice. Luke. I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. I like Andrews my love. Hey, I'm celebrate. I'm celebrate. Yeah. I'm off the market. I'm not even on there. I'm celebrate. He was never on the market. He was never on there. He was never there. That's shade. That's shade. No, no, not even. Who, who's the most likely to order the salad? That's Dylan, me. That's Dylan. me. That's me. Definitely that's Dylan. Me. Health as well. And then he'll tell everyone, like, look at you lot eating your fucking dirty <laughs> food and all this. Meanwhile, bro, this guy, man. Yeah, definitely Dylan. <laughs> who's the most likely to fart at a job interview? Me, 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 <laughs> me, me, me. You don't know. You'll never know. You'll never know. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. What? Miss their lines on stage? Jay, Jay. Reese, 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 Reese. That's you. That's you. <laughs> That's you. And then in a different vein, in a different vein, instant reload. It's a reload. Ah, you know what? Nah. You know what? Yeah. That's up to the crowd. That's, That's up, up to, to the crowd. crowd. I can't. I can't speak yeah, on that yeah, because. Up to the crowd. 
they, I'll say Reese. Reese will say funds. Luca will say everyone. everyone but you know, humble boys, humble boys, humble boys. I mean, exactly. Um, all right, so Luca, you're produced by Luca Play. This is popping. It's like almost two hours long. Loads of different styles, oh, yeah. loads of different sounds. What sort of genre or project or sound would you like to do, but you haven't had the chance to yet? Well, I want to work with more singers, more R&B singers, and yeah, get more of my sample stuff out there because I feel like my sample sounds aren't really yeah, they're not out there. Not out. They're tired. <laughs> they're tired. <laughs> Fuck up. They're just not out there. That's true. Yeah, they're not out like there samples, enough. Yeah. They're not out there enough. This guy's a wizard with samples. Yeah, give more, it teams. Yeah. Yeah, you team. did some stuff with uh, is it Natanya Popola? Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah, so yeah. I'd I'd love to hear more of that yeah. myself. That's that's back in the day, but that was more of a production role. She wrote those songs, but I, I produced those more. But yeah, with, now it's more like I'm writing as well. So yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, question for you, Jay Reese. Question for you. Uh, in your alter ego video, you seem to be escaping from a hospital. But I want to know what put you in there. Dinosaur. 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 Yeah. 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 No, it's dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's dinosaur. Still. That's all right. It's calm. Why were you in the hospital then? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> in this hypothetical universe, what put you there? You, got, uh, you know, there's a lot of possibilities for that one there, yeah, but sure. it's a bit of a sticky. Yeah. No, sure. <laughs> no, no, I guess um, the director of the video pitched the idea. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucked with it, so I thought, you know what, we'll rock with it. But yeah, man, yeah. no, nah, it was good. I you think it made it, it stand out and made it from a lot what, more unique. From what I got from the video, <laughs> obviously, Reese was coming from the metaphorical point of. Like the lifestyle he's living, yeah, sometimes he yeah. feels trapped in a hospital. He feels like everyone's out to get him, and so. Also, I'm so like, you know, the lifestyle could lead me to the hospital sometimes. Hundred percent. Dinosaurs. Okay, okay. Question, question for defense now. Your skin is popping. Talk me through the routine. Yeah. Hey, right. melanin. I'm joking. Listen, basically, <laughs> wash your face, stop drinking fizzy drinks, and drink water in it. Okay. Well, Say that again. Drink loads of water. No fizzy drink drinks. Drink loads of water. No fizzy drinks or sweets. Okay. okay, we got we got just two more questions. Get rich, die young. Big tune. Big oh, tune. Yeah, tune. Defans. Is money the motivator? Is what? Money the motivator. Hey, money! Hey, <laughs> listen, yeah. No, no. Get, get rich, die young. Get rich, die young. Is a, bro. is a way of life, but not in the way you think. We say the statement ambiguously because we want the listener to really consider if they want to get rich or die young. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like when we wrote that song, it was get rich, die young, because that's what everyone else is thinking. Get rich, die young, they want to be Lil Xan, they want to da da da. But we're on a journey, man. It's a journey, fam. We're living long, we're living prosperous. With, we're that's the right attitude. For the love, then. For the love, innit? Yeah, man. Journey to riches. Okay, final, final question. I'm asking everyone this tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody seems to have some reference in their music to uh, finding it difficult to get the balance between confidence and arrogance. Right, right, right. What have you learned about yourselves uh, by trying to, you know, toe that line and stay on the right side? I'll go first. Um, go on. I've learned that I need to believe in myself more. I don't really like overplay myself and I'm very humble. But certain times I need to really talk my shit, you feel me? I feel and like I really need to like put my chest out and stand on my shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, I think, especially in the music business, yeah, you got to sometimes be a bit delusional to get to where you want to be. And um, that can come in the form of arrogance sometimes. But I think you need a bit of arrogance sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I feel like without that, you just kind of stay in the, in the, I don't even know what to call it, but. Middle lane yeah, driving. You've got to really reach your full potential. You got to be, sometimes you got to be like, you know what, fuck everybody else, I'm the best. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, man. Yeah. And your, your take? Arrogance, confidence, I don't know. I feel like as long as you have the right people around you to keep you in check and to know when you're stepping out of line, then, then you're okay. But yeah, balance. Balance, 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 balance. balance. Nicki Minaj. Balance. <laughs> okay, well, that's just about it. You heard it here first. You guys, onto something special, honestly. It's been a pleasure chatting. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm very excited to that's see what you've got in 2023, yeah? Perfect. Well, Thank, Thank you. Journey to Riches, just the real. Journey to Riches. <laughs> Oh, 